uh, assalamu alaikum uh, i am recording this video so that i can guide you how you can uh, make any quiz uh, for your students to assess them on ongoing basis uh, when you log in you normally see this page you will go either to this quiz tab or you can go to my ixl or here you will see this quizzes right from both of the tabs you can open the quizzes tab click here okay here you will see all of your previous quizzes if you have any and if you want to generate for the first time you can click here create new quiz it is very simple process it will ask you for the name of the quiz you can name it any for example addition and then you will start selecting the skills you want to assign to them right you can simply click here and go to grade then grade 3 for example and you will see all the topics of grade 3 and you can go to addition and you will see all of the skills of addition so from from uh, from the skills you want to assess them you can select those skills from here and if it is difficult to search you can uh, you can go to uh, learning tab of ixl in the separate web tab of browser and here you can see what you want to assess for example if you want to assess from this skill so you can note down its code which is r g 2 and you can simply search here click here and write r g 2 so you will see this skill here and you can click this skill now it will ask you how many questions from this skill you want to uh, keep in the quiz so you can ask two question or three questions here are some level of difficulty from within that particular skill there are three levels of difficulty one two three so first you want you can add this is a button to add the questions like if you have three so it will, it will add three questions to your quiz like this uh, now you can now you can change the level so for example if you want to keep the first question of level one and then of level two and then of level three in your quiz so uh, you can have uh, my internet is lacking otherwise you will see the sample question here which because my internet like this okay fine it's working so you can see whether this question is fine for your students or if you want to change it you can click here to generate a new question instead right it will change a question like this so you will select this question i want to give this question i want to give you can also change their order if you want to change the order of the questions and then if you want to add more questions so click add and then you will select the other skill you want to assign right for example word problems you can select the skill select the question numbers and click add questions It doesn't take that much time. My I, my internet is not properly working. Uh, so like this, you can see. So your quiz has been generated, and here you can see the number of questions your quiz have. Like this, the name of the quiz, and if you want to assign the quiz right now, you can assign it from here, from review and publish, or if you don't want to assign it right now. And if you just want to save it in your draft for later views, so you can click here, save and exit. If you click here, like this, you can see uh, the quiz will be saved in your draft. Like number of questions, no one is selected. So now, if you want to assign this quiz to any of your class, just click on continue editing. And then you will click on once if you want to review you can review the questions and then you click the review and publish here uh, you will you will select the like as you assign any skill to students you will just uh, hover this star and you will select the class you want to assign like for example I want to assign it to class 3a so I will select this and you can see that the publish quiz button is active now you can just click and it will be published to your students and here is a here is a, a option for you should show students their results immediately so i would recommend to uncheck this if this is a formal test because otherwise student may share 
their responses with other students and there will be chances of cheating but if it is the informal test if it is for certain students so you can check it and they can check their scores after they submit their result um, so this is the way how you can generate quizzes now where a student will get uh, their um, quiz uh, so first if if you have assigned them before they log in so when they log in for the first time after the assignment so the quiz will appear pop up on their screens to attempt and if that is not there so a student can simply open it from learning tab recommendation wall where uh, teachers assigned skills are shown at the right top corner unfortunately unfortunately i don't have a, a student login right now so you know that you can you can go to learning and on learning for, uh, here you see uh, teachers recommendations or suggestions when you click you will see the quiz in there and student can click and submit it so when they will submit, they can you can you can review their scores. Let me show you. I have a one of the quiz which is submitted like this. You can see. So if you want to see the result, so you can see this. It will show you the complete uh, analysis of the quiz. Like you can also select particular student also from here. If you have multiple quizzes, you can select the quiz from here. So there are the overall average score, total attempted marks, student individual marks. Questions you gave, which students gave the right answer, which students gave the wrong answer. So it is a very comprehensive data that can help you a lot. So it is a good feature. I hope you will easily understand this and you will be using for your own ease. Thank you so much.